Hi there, this is Russ Lagan, the real estate dude with a Tampa real estate market update for March. I know it's a little bit later in the month this month, but I had a bunch of really great stuff going on this month which got me distracted. So this one's coming out at the end of the month, but here's the numbers from February. I am really, really happy to report there's some great information in here and some information is scaring the heck out of real estate agents. So let's go over this really quick. The supply of homes for the month of February, so we're talking about it in March because it's last month's numbers, for the month of February is a 2.9 month supply of homes. 2.9. Just for context, last year at the same time, you were at a 2.6 month supply of homes. Now, some of you might be saying, hey Russ, well, let's go in the wrong direction. My response to you is, whoop, I don't think so. That's actually going the right direction because if you're starting off the year at a 2.6 month supply of homes, that's great for sellers, but horrible for buyers. In this market, we need it to calm down a little bit in the Tampa market to become a more reasonable market. I will tell you if this number was four or five, I would be totally cool with that in January, February. But we're at a 2.9, which means the market's still hot for sellers. If you get a home on the market, you price it right, it's going quick. If you're sub $200,000, they're flying off the market still because we still have a low supply and demand is, is still pretty solid. So I'm gonna get that number in a second. You're gonna love this number, right? So when we're talking about total inventory number, here's why that number's gone up. Total inventory for this year is 11,816 homes available in the greater Tampa market area. And when you're looking at last year at the same time, it was at 10,387. Some of you might be saying, Russ, well, geez, that inventory is going up. Oh crap, here we go. It's a slowdown. Actually, it's slowing down towards heading in the right direction towards a more normal market. This still isn't a normal market based on the amount of sales we've got. This number needs to be up another three or 4,000 to get to a more normal market for April, January and February, beginning of 2019. So let's look at where the real number is. It's like, okay, here's where the rubber meets the road. How many sales are there? If there's 2.9 month supply of homes but no sales, well, this, that means nothing. It means nothing's moving, right? So is something moving? Well, here's the number of sales for uh, last month was 3,379. 3,379. You're like, well, great, Russ. That's great info. So what does that mean? From the year before, it was 3,197. Catch that? 3,197 sales in February last year, 3,379 this year. So sales are actually up. A lot of people have been saying, the market's slowing, the market's slowing, the market's slowing. It's not really slowing, it's shifting. It's shifting towards a more normal market, which is good. The great news is sales are actually up. So for real estate professionals, there's more houses being sold in February this year than there were last year. So that's a good thing for real estate agents. If you're thinking about selling, good news is there's a good level of buyers out there. And they've got a little bit better selection. It's still a low level of selection, but still a little bit better, better selection, which is a little bit better for buyers. So if you're thinking about buying right now, it's actually a little easier to get a house and buy a house now than it was. And if you're thinking about selling a house, it's actually a little bit easier for you to find a house so you don't sell yours and end up becoming homeless, right? So if you're thinking about selling, it's actually a little better this year than last year. If you're thinking about buying, it's actually a little better because you've got a little more selection out there. A little more competition, but a little more selection. So here's the last piece of info you guys need to know. The median sales price uh, in, in uh, this year in February is 235. Last year it was 228. So you might say, okay, Russ, well, what does that mean? 235 versus 228. So the median sale price went up, and that simply means half the, hail, half the sales were above that number, half the sales were below that number. And typically, in general, the house pricing of what's being sold is a little bit higher. Does that mean your average house went up that much? Not necessarily, but it also it does mean that the median house prices are going up, which means we're, we're trending in the right direction still. Good news is this number's down a little bit from the year before. If you have really high percentage of growth over those two numbers year over year over year, that's the making of a bubble. This is not the making of a bubble. This is the making of a market that's stabilizing. I love seeing numbers that look like this. I hope this trend continues for a little while and then stabilizes, which what I've been predicting for about the last year is we should have a more stable market this year. I would love to see that happen this year. Gives people a better chance to make a good decision instead of rushing to make a decision or getting kicked out of their house not being able to find something. So, my name is Russ the Real Estate Dude. I am here with the market update for Tampa for March, and I hope you guys like that. If you want to reach out to the person that sent you this video, get more info, reach out to them, or you feel free to reach out to me too, and I'll be happy to help you talk through this stuff and see how it applies to you. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Russ Lagan, see ya.